Action News reporter John Paul. He's live for us now at the Betsy Ross Bridge here closer to home. Right, and John, you're learning more about the safety of our local bridges tonight, huh? That's right, Rick Shar. That's what we've been looking into, like at the Betsy Ross Bridge just behind me. You know, this is very similar to that bridge in Baltimore. It was built around the same time within just a few years, and it's almost the same total length as well. But this bridge has one big difference, and it's not what's on the bridge. It's what's in the water. Eight and a half million vehicles drive across the Betsy Ross Bridge over the Delaware River every year. And after the catastrophic collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore this morning, a similar structure, we wanted to know what safety measures are in place here. All of our bridges have protection systems in place to prevent ships from striking. John Hansen is the CEO of the Delaware River Port Authority. He's closely following this collapse, but he says the key difference sits in the Delaware River near the bridge support piers. When you talk about the Betsy Ross Bridge, we have concrete uh, dolphins that are protective against ships that will prevent a ship from striking the pier. That's what we have at the Betsy Ross Bridge. You can see those circular structures from Drone 6. And when you look at video from Baltimore, you don't see them near the support piers something a structural engineering professor at Drexel noticed right away. Why were there no protection systems around the pier? Dr. Abe Agayiri analyzes structural collapses. He was surprised that this type of bridge, known as a continuous truss bridge, completely failed. When something is continuous, it is supposed to be able to at least hang on. What I saw was that once the the pier that was supporting that uh, uh you know, span gave way, the bridges went down. There was no hesitation. That is something, of course, the NTSB will be looking into. And Rick, the Port Authority says all of the bridges along the Delaware River, they have the uh, protections around those support piers. We're live tonight. John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, John, good to know. Thank you for that report.